CNC routers are something new that has entered into the home shop. Just like other industrial technologies that started out with big machines that were only for the professional, now there's smaller ones that are appropriate for the home shop. In this kind of, with this kind of machine, I can take a simple file like this, just a PDF, import it into a computer, and end up cutting it onto a, a board like this and have a nice little sign. You do need a CNC machine. You also need a computer. But as you can see, it doesn't need to be a tremendously sophisticated computer system. Mine is one that was left over after my kids left home. So, we're going to walk through a few of the steps, show you what it takes to get started in CNC routing and talk about some of the benefits that it performs. When you're just starting out in home shop CNC routing, it's a good thing to take your time and get your setup done correctly. In order to work properly, this board needs to be exactly centered. You can see that I've marked it off. Hold downs that run in these tracks are what keep this thing secured while you're going through the cutting process. In my case, I like to leave a little extra to trim just in case I get something a little wonky. Once the machine is set up and has started cutting, there's really nothing for you to do but kind of watch it. The great thing about this is all that setup is repeatable. So all I have to do is load the file the next time and I can make another sign as many times as I want. Just watch it through the first time to make sure everything's fine. So there you have it, my very first sign made on, with a CNC router using my home computer. Even somebody who's a novice like myself can have pretty good success right off the bat. This opens up a lot of options for the small home shop. I can't wait to get to doing more with it. Now that I've got my first sign under my belt, I'm going to attempt a much more uh, significantly sized project. It's going to be a family tree that I'll etch onto this cherry plywood. It's going to have literally hundreds and hundreds of characters, boxes, lines connecting the boxes, uh, written words, and all of that would be really tremendously tricky if I was to try to carve it by hand. And um, if I was going to use a, a handheld router to do it, it would be impossible. That's one of the big advantages of a CNC router. This is going to be an heirloom piece that we can mount on our wall, but it will be done exactly right. With any CNC project, it's a good idea to take your time in preparation, get your files right, load them up on the computer correctly. And then, in addition to that, it's been my experience as a novice in this that it's a good idea to do a test run. Just like in any woodworking project, it's like a mock-up. It's along the lines of measure twice, cut once. Use MDF or some other kind of scrap wood, test the cuts, and make sure it runs from beginning to end of the, of the program without flaw. Then you're ready to start with your heirloom quality material. That's it for our video on using a CNC in the home shop. This technology is new, but it is so robust, it will be around for a long time. If you, like me, are learning it, don't forget to take advantage of online tutorials, uh, extensive documentations, and there's forums where you can ask other users how they're getting along with it. Don't let the, the technology intimidate you. This is not hard stuff. If I can use it, you can use it. And just take your time and learn, like any other woodworking activity. It's going to take practice, some experience, and pretty soon you'll be cutting out cabinet parts, carving signs, doing things that I can't even think of right now. So if you're excited about it like I am, go ahead and jump right in. I think you'll like it.